Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show how you can import estimates into QuickBooks desktop from text or Excel files using Z axis. So first up, what is an estimate in QuickBooks? Basically, it's a transaction that is used as a bill, proposal or quote to a customer for a sale at a future date. So let's have a look at one of those in QuickBooks. And so here we have an example of a quote, which is in fact an estimate for a customer for some custom work that's going to be done in the future. And once these have been created, then they can be converted into invoices quite simply here. So what I'm going to show you in this demonstration is how you can import, say, quotes or bids or estimates from a spreadsheet or text file format and you might have those in batch and upload those directly into QuickBooks desktop using Z axis. So the first step in the process is to open Z axis on our desktop and we're going to connect to our QuickBooks desktop company file. So we've connected successfully and click on the import tab. Click on browse and select the file that contains the estimates that you want to upload into QuickBooks desktop. So I've got a sample one here, which is a text file. Now the file formats can be in text, tab delimited, CSV, Excel, or even IIF. So the first thing you'll notice is the structure of the file. So across the top, we have a row which contains the column names. And then in this section down here, we have repeating rows that contains the estimate data that we're going to bring into QuickBooks. So next, we're going to create a map. We select the transaction type as estimate. And we begin the process of mapping the QuickBooks fields to the corresponding columns in our import file. So you'll see in this column here, these contain all the fields that are on an estimate in QuickBooks. And this is the columns that are contained within our import file. So naturally, customer goes against customer and so on. So the fields that are marked in yellow are mandatory fields. These are the minimum ones that we need to map in order to successfully create an estimate. So if you're unsure of what all these fields are, then if you click on this link here in the top right hand corner of this screen, it'll take you to a article on our website that describes in detail all of these fields and what data QuickBooks is expecting there. So I've completed the minimum mapping. I'll give the mapping a name. And I'll save it. So this can be reused on subsequent imports of estimates into QuickBooks. So now once the map is applied, you'll see that these column names have changed to the actual QuickBooks field. And you'll see just the data that will be brought into QuickBooks. Now there are a number of other more advanced features that we can use, um, whether it's um, using the auto numbering, the next sequential numbering in QuickBooks, we can skip some of the validations that we, that we do, and you can update the um, customer's address and contact details uh, to keep them in sync with if you might have a web store or something like that. It also has the ability to skip a transaction, skip an estimate if it's already in there, overwrite it, append to that estimate, or just create another copy of it. So once we're ready and we can then begin the import process, click the import button. Access will validate all the data that we have in there to make sure dates are the correct format. It will then um, create any missing customers or any missing items that might be in the file and then begin the process of directly importing those estimates into QuickBooks desktop. So now we'll see down here a summary of what's been imported. And if we click on this view link here, it will take us directly to that estimate that we've just imported into QuickBooks. And we also have the option to undo that if we want to, or undo all those transactions to roll back the import if it didn't go in exactly the way you wanted. So in summary, 
that's how you can use Z-Axis to upload estimates from text, Excel, or IIF files directly into QuickBooks Desktop.